set tell them why? No, I didn't ever get a The reason we were tankers, but the reason we got a CIB was because we went up to Contoon, yeah. and uh, we were on APCs, and we were considered mechanized infantry. That's why we got and CIBs. We, and, we, and we were with the 1st and 35th and 1st K, which are infantry units. And we got in that we got in that ambush and that big ambush and that's when we were awarded the CIB. Whatever. <laughs> he knows all the numbers. I just know I was somewhere. In there. Just and you're both PGR? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great yes, unit. Sir. Great yep. unit. Yep. <laughs> documentary and need some of this the U.S. became involved in a conflict in the Southeast Asian country of Vietnam. Most Vietnam veterans were drafted. Truth, two-thirds, myth, the war was fought largely by the poor and uneducated. Truth, 79% had a high school education or better. It is rumored that the fighting in the South Pacific was more severe during World War II. This is untrue. During war and combat days between the two wars, was the helicopter. The helicopter provided unprecedented mobility for our troops. Approximately 12,000 helicopters saw action in Vietnam. And without it, it would have taken three times as many men to secure the 800-mile border between Cambodia and Laos. With all the action the helicopter saw, it's no wonder that the unmistakable sound of a Huey triggers many soldiers who lost their lives in the Idrang Valley, fighting for their country and their friends. This documentary is dedicated to him. Leo May ended up doing. I just knew that I, as soon as I got through school, I now uh, first thing I said I want to. I wanted fly guns because that's what I came over here for. So anyway, I got into a, I got into a gun company. I reported into Vietnam uh, to Fifth Special Forces Group headquarters, and to conduct a number of activities and operations along the uh, Ho Chi Minh Trail. When we went to Vietnam, uh, we were all split up. We didn't go as a unit. We all went as a camaraderie that you might have if you were all together going over as a unit. Uh, we didn't have that at all. I remember the amphibious assault on a beach. 
platoon size ambush and they'd made me a machine gunner. So I'd never really worked on the M60 machine gun and they said, you're the machine gunner. And uh, I remember we got started firing into the barn and we all fired and with that uh, after a few minutes we realized everybody that we were kind of shooting towards each other so we stopped and we found out we'd killed 11 water buffalo we didn't have any Viet Cong but we had 11 dead water buffalo we set in that night on a hillside afterwards and I remember when a helicopter comes down to pick up something I mean it's quick and I told him Thought, well, you know, it's a big city and it looks peaceful during the day, but it's it's somebody else's world. At For about day. ten days, I was there and running around Saigon with my brother-in-law, and then after that, I got back to Fubai, and they told me I'd been assigned to a combined set up near the villages, and they had these areas uh, where the idea was that you had a small number of American forces working with the village road going north and south uh, within South Vietnam. The uh, mission that we went out to, an orphanage called at Binson, which was about 15 miles out in what they called Indian country at the time. And uh, you knew you were going to get shot at coming back. Uh, the trucks, the Marine, Marine killed the kid, several others in the area injured and wounded a lot of other people, at which point everybody that was able uh, grabbed somebody that you could and hauled butt for the helicopters. And they were already cranking up they can see behind and, and, uh, and keep firing on the target. And it is amazing uh, how many bullet holes you can was the organized military force that we were, the Americans. The Viet Cong were there, and should they know that a certain village received help from us, then they in turn would, would have harm caused to them by the Viet Cong, either to those people that may have talked or to their family. They were to ask you a question and you know that if you answered it, you, you may be killed, would you answer it? I ended up on bridge security, so I was outside the compound uh, when we got hit. We had Claymore mines all around the compound. All the wires to the Claymore mines had already been cut, so you had an inside job. So I'm shooting down the road because they were crossing the road towards the compound in front of me. And I'm firing in that direction, and uh, there's nobody over there by me, but as clear as I'm talking, uh, you know, I was young and married. The welcome back home was not, by then things had changed quite a bit. Wasn't 